On the third line of betting, may win Ulysses at $6 after opening at six fifty, getting out to sevens, back into sixes, and Rob Essex has already trained a winner tonight. Two races ago in Senorita may win, and Rob Essex has also owned a harness racing pacer at Albion Park tonight that has won. May wins courage, so he's won as an owner in the harness racing code and trained Senorita may win to victory two races ago, so he's got a double dual coded. And also in the market... Is Tipsy Four at 7.50? It opened at 6.50, got down to 5.50, back out to 7.50. It's been flying lately. It's four mightn't look as good as a Greyhound is actually going. It's been placed three of its last four, and they've been good runs. It's knocking on the door for another win, Tipsy Four. They're all being locked and loaded now for race nine. The Lua Rolls, favourite Waddling Witch is $2.15, fixed price with tab, box three, set to go. Racing Waddling Witch began fast. Also, Maywin Ulysses came out flying and going across was Peace Dream. But it's Waddling Witch and Maywin Ulysses going together up the side. They're six lengths clear. Going to third then was Silent Talker from Key West, fourth and deep off the track. Near the rail then was Tipsy Four making ground of the last three runners with Terenza Tiger. Good vibrations and Peace Dream. It's Maywin Ulysses taking over. Dashing four lengths clear. Waddling Witch can't match Maywin Ulysses. Then Key West and Tipsy Four but may win Ulysses, uh, wins by two and a half lengths, a double to Rob Essex, and also a winner as an owner on the harness racing code. Wins by three lengths, beating Waddling Witch. Tipsy Four was third, Key West was fourth, then Silent Talk, and the last three runners were Good Vibrations, Peach Dream, and Terenza Tiger, 30 and 60 the chase.